in the beginning, there were only a few types of claims made policies. The claims made policies that we saw in the 80s were architects and engineers or medical malpractice. But as the advantages for insurers and policyholders expanded, different types of accounts were purchasing claims made coverage. We see that now in all types of professional liability coverage. In fact, we also see some general liability coverage that is available on a claims made basis. As we have more and more types of policies written on a claims made basis as opposed to an occurrence basis, we are beginning to see an increase in the litigation. Now there are three types of differences or primary differences between occurrence based coverage and claims made coverage. The first difference is that the threshold event that invokes the coverage is the claim itself. It's not the bodily injury, it's not the property damage. So the question is, was the claim made against the insured during the policy period as opposed to whether the injury or the property damage took place in the policy period. And so sometimes you have two different types of policies. The first type is a claims made policy, which requires only that the claim itself be made during the policy period. And then there are the more typical claims made and reported policies, which requires both that the claim and the report take place in the policy period. And what you also have to remember is this during the policy period is really just shorthand because it means within the period allotted by the policy. So most policies do have a grace period, 30, 60 to 90 days, so the insured is not abruptly cut off. So if a claim is made against the insured near the very end of the policy period, on a Tuesday, it doesn't have to report the claim by Wednesday. There is a 60 or 90 day grace period built into most policies. The second major difference between occurrence policies and claims made policies is the burden of proof. Because the claim is the threshold event of coverage and that's what's written right into the insuring agreement, the claim itself and the reporting of it, that is the insured's burden to prove. It is not the insurer's burden. So what has to happen is that the insured must come forward with a piece of written correspondence or an email or an accord form that says this is the claim that was made against me and there is a date there and it resolves that issue. Now the third major difference which really in terms of litigation is critical is the proof of prejudice. Because claims made policies are so based on timing, what normally happens is the question of what if the claim was late. Now, in the occurrence context, by and large, in virtually every state, but not every state, there is no requirement that the insurer prove that it was prejudiced by the delay. So where do we get to? We have these three differences between occurrence-based policies and claims-made policies. We have a lot of litigation. And when you look at all the litigation that's out there, you see that the cases really fall into four main categories. There are four issues that are being adjudicated in the context of claims made policies. The first issue is what if the policyholder reported the claim too late, beyond the policy period and beyond the grace period? The second issue is to whom must the policyholder report the claim? What if it's seeking excess coverage? Can it report the claim to the broker? The third issue that we see is the situation that exists where a policyholder maintains seamless coverage or consecutive claims made coverage with the same insurance company. So there is no gap in coverage and what happens where a claim is reported in one policy period but the claim was actually made against the insured in the earlier policy period. The fourth issue is based on the language in the policy 
that the insured provide notice as soon as practicable. That is in the conditions section, and what a policyholder who has missed the deadline will argue is that that language trumps the requirement that the claim be reported during the policy period.